Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, July 12th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Oh, we've got some circles on the grid today, that's always exciting to see. Let's start with one across. Hard to understand. Hmm, I wonder if that's like muffled or something? It could be something along those lines, I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be. What's one down? The A of DNA? I think DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. It's something close to that. So the end is definitely acid. Okay. Um, so that gives us an A for one across. Hmm. Let's see if we can build off of the C maybe. It makes an auto shine. They're talking about an automobile here, I think. So maybe that could be car wax. As you can see, I'm trying to build off of answers we have in the grid already. Instead of jumping through the grid, I feel like it's a lot easier to get an answer once you have a letter or two already in there. This is the strategy that definitely works best for me. Uh, turn down as lights. That could be dim. That gives us an eye at the end of here. That's interesting. Oscar winning Malik. I think that's Remy Malik. Okay. Do some last minute studying. That should be cram. All right, let's take a peek at this first really long grid spanning answer. This is almost certainly our first theme answer. Actually, all of the answers that have circles of them go all the way across the grid. That's interesting. Okay, song lyric before short and stout. That's from I'm a Little Teapot, right? That looks like that's actually what we have here. I'm a little teapot. Okay, very cute. Um, so it looks like this is giving us Molly in the circles here. Molly is a country somewhere, right? That makes me wonder if we're going to have other countries in the rest of the circles in the grid here. Leatherworkers pointed tool. That's an awl. It's a little spike that makes holes. What is this? Oh, hard to understand is arcane. Jeez. I use that word all the time too. Should have gotten that one. Okay. Fancy work from a manicurist. Um, it looks like it's going to start with nail. Um, nail job. I don't know about that. Let's look at this one. Squeeze money from could be extort. Maybe we can figure out what this first letter is if we do this across here. The Simpsons character voiced by Nancy Cartwright. That's Bart. Yeah. She's the longtime voice of Bart. Okay, so maybe this is art. Nail art. Yeah, that would make sense. That would be fancy. Check this out. When you get a clue in quotes like this, that means they're looking for an equivalent phrase. So we need an equivalent phrase for check this out. And I think that could be look. What is this here? Band with the 1983 number one hit, 62 across. Okay, so it's pointing us to this answer here. This is looking like it's gonna be Toto, right? I do know that band. And their really big hit was Africa, right? So is that what this is gonna be? Where this puzzle's circled letters can be found. Ooh, I guess they're all gonna be maybe countries in Africa? Interesting, okay. Um, hmm. Is this going to be Togo? Attorney General under George W. Bush. Oh, jeez. Um, I don't know if I can remember that. Yeah, let's keep building down from the top. Format of much AM radio. That's got to be talk. There's a lot of talk on AM radio. Vegan protein source. Oh, I definitely know that one. That's tofu. I eat tons of tofu. Um, okay, metal in a mine. That should be ore. What Jack Spratt couldn't eat in a nursery rhyme? That's Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean, right? Okay. Spirited horse. Could that be an Arab? I think there's Arab horses, right? Transform using mobile technology as a market. Uh, jeez. Um, is it 
Uberize? I don't know if I've ever heard that term before, but I have a feeling that's what they're getting at. I guess like how Uber transformed the taxi market. Out of practice? That should be rusty, right? TikTok and Zoom for two, those are both apps. Are they Uberizing their respective markets? Possibly. Luau finger food? Uh, is that poi? Electric guitarists need. You need an amp if you have an electric guitar, right? Not worth debating is moot. Yeah, that's a moot point. It's a little bit of an arcane term. Yeah, it's kind of like moot court. It's like practice court. It doesn't count. Um, feel sorry for pity. Yes, that makes sense. Surrounding glow could be an aura. Yes. Blank to the throne could be heir to the throne. Cross my heart and blank to die. Hope to die. I feel like we have a lot of childhood phrases on this puzzle. I'm a little teapot. Hope to die. Oklahoma City. Ooh. I'm not sure about that one. Hmm. This attorney general has a Z in their name? Man. It's just not looking any more familiar. Pull out all the stops? Hmm. I don't know, that's kind of like maximum effort, right? Hmm. Like the wire in paper clips. I guess this is just bent, right? Um, is this Roberto? It is, right? Is it Roberto Gonzalez? I think that's right. That is vaguely familiar. Okay, so that gives us another country in Africa, Togo. Okay. Pull out all the stops, man. Is it go something? Facing the pitcher? Oh, that should be at bat. So this is, oh, this is Roberto. Maybe it's Alberto Gonzalez, okay. Yeah, my memory was not 100% on that one. Okay, so that should be at bat. Ha ha, is it just a laugh? Could be. Dog to avoid. Hmm. Sully could be taint. End of a cigarette or rifle, that's the butt. Number that never goes down, I guess that's your age. Dog to avoid could be biter. Oh, I see, okay. So we've got another country here. Appeasing idiomatically. So would this be about giving something to someone to appease them? Hmm. Can we get the end? Nephew of Donald Duck? That would be Louie, right? Huey, Dewey, and Louie. 100 or 200 meter EG. It starts with an E. Hmm. Final authority. Is it say so? Like you have to wait for my say so? It could be. Eggs in a fertility lab could be ova, yeah. Okay, that's plural. Nephew of Donald Duck. Another nephew of Donald Duck. Uh, hmm. Is it Huey? I think it has to be. Yeah. Okay, so maybe this is an event. There we go. Maybe this is say so. And then some pork cuts. Oh, geez. I guess it's this. Okay. Sound of a car or goose. Oh, boy. <laughs> I feel like they made this one just for us. All right. That is a honk. I guess that's the sound I'm making all the time. Disreputable sort. Um, hmm. Disreputable sort. It looks like it ends in off or something, doesn't it? Hmm. Southeast Europe's blank peninsula. I don't know. My geography is not really good enough to get that one. Water Spanish. The word for water in Spanish is agua, right? Okay, hopefully that helps. 1960s Ron Howard TV role. 
he played Opie on the Andy Griffith show, right? <laughs> Very modern reference. Okay, uh, it is go something. Is this Enid? We're in accord. It's almost like it should be agreed, but that doesn't fit. Hmm. Okay, maybe appeasing. There's a phrase that's throw a bone to, right? Um, that's not quite the right phrasing because the bone has to be here. So it's a bone to. Um, it can't just be throw a bone to. But uh, yeah. So this should be Gabon, I think, right? For the country. So maybe it's throwing. Yeah, it's a garand because of appeasing. It's got that ing. So we need to have that in our answer also. Okay. Okay, maybe pull out all the stops is go big. Okay. We're in accord. Okay, maybe that's jibed or vibed. I think it's jibed. I think it's with a G. And then that does give us Enid for Oklahoma City. Okay. Um, enlist. Oh, no, that should be join. Okay, it's jibed with a J. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can never remember if that's a G or a J. Quaint lodgings could be inns. What's this? Morrison, who said, a writer's life and work are not a gift to mankind. They are its necessity. Uh, I've never heard that quote before, but it sounds like it's going to be Toni Morrison. I know she's a writer. Brought up the rear. And when you get a question mark at the end of a clue like that, that means this is a wordplay clue. So... This is not gonna be a straightforward reading of brought up the rear. It's not gonna be like went last or something like that. Um, there's gonna be some kind of pun. So I don't know. Is it gonna be something about a rear end? Hmm. This is a tricky one. Rights could be pens. International group with a 1970s US embargo. It's probably OPEC, the cartel of oil producing countries. What designated drivers should be? They should definitely be sober. Okay. Is this twerked? <laughs> I guess, is twerking bringing up your rear? I guess you kind of stick it out. Yeah, you definitely bring it up as a topic of conversation when you twerk. Okay. Ill humor, that could be bile. Figuratively, bile is kind of ill humor. Um, home of Cincinnati, that is Ohio. Little geography there. Person who may speak with a brogue. A brogue is a name for a Scottish accent, so this is going to be Scott, I think. And then we've got some stuff filled in. Let's take a look at that. What a dipstick measures the level of. Yeah, that's oil in a old-fashioned gas car. Part of the body that's stubbed. Yes, that's your toe. All right, so we've got the kind of first part of this. Is this gonna be Kenya, maybe? Grilled Japanese dish on skewers. Ooh, okay, so that'll probably start with chicken. And then uh, starts with ya. I guess that's yakitori. Yeah, okay. I am not familiar with this dish. I mean, I've heard of it, but that's the extent of my knowledge. But that does give us Kenya. It's our last African nation. So we've got Mali, Togo, Gabon, and Kenya. Very nice. I remember as a kid watching Where in the World is Carbon San Diego. And whenever one of the kids got Africa, I was always so like impressed that they knew all the countries. Okay, university URL ending could be edu. Blank in the bud is nip in the bud. That's when you kind of prevent a problem from happening very early. Prep for publication could be edit. Trick could be dupe. If you're duped, you're tricked. Unit that may be preceded by kilo, mega, or giga. Gigabyte, megabyte, kilobyte, yeah. Taurus symbol is the bull. Yeah, that's uh, astrology, right? Gape could be gawk. You're gawking, you're gaping at something. 
Okay, so maybe this is the Balkan Peninsula. Okay, I've heard of that. My Eastern European geography is also really bad. A disreputable sort could be a low life. Blank TV, cable channel with impractical jokers. I think that's true TV. I've never actually watched anything on that channel. Black in French. That's a word most people have heard because it's noir, right? And there's like film noir. Yeah, it's like the dark expressionist film genre. Yeah. Okay, give silent approval. Could that be nod? That's good, okay. Killer whale is an orca, yeah. And telephone could be dial as a verb. That's a little tricky. Sometimes they use words like this that could be nouns and verbs. Um, and in this case, it's not a noun telephone. It is a verb. When you telephone someone, you dial them, right? Okay, so this is gonna be neural network. This is kind of a very modern computer science-y term. I like that. Um, it's a little arcane, but it's a nice way to end our Monday puzzle here. Let's see if that does it for us. Nice. All right, 2054, that's a little above average, um, but this puzzle felt a little harder than an average Monday. Um, we had, first of all, the theme was African geography, which I think is probably not a lot of people's strong suit. Um, thankfully, I had heard of all of these countries. I didn't necessarily know they were all in Africa, but uh, yeah. So it seemed like maybe that was a little above average in terms of Monday difficulty. I liked a couple of these long phrases. I'm a little teapot is great. Throwing a bone to is a nice phrase. Um, but yeah, some of these, some of this fill was a little kind of tougher than average Monday type fare, I thought at least. There's a little bit of tricky language like jibed and moot. I mean, these are not like crazy obscure or arcane words, but you know, for Monday, it's a little harder than usual. I liked that we got a nice wordplay clue here. This one's kind of wacky. Um, and I liked seeing the word brogue. This is a good vocabulary word to learn. I like this one a lot. I also really liked our Donald Duck nephew little mini theme over here. That was fun. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed solving this little tour of African geography with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.